Hello, everyone. A very, very good evening. Welcome to a very special session. We are about to embark on a unique project for Choir of the Earth, uh, and yet it's like coming home. We're going to be singing and learning and recording the Hallelujah Chorus by George Frederick Handel in a very, very special recording which we are going to present to their majesties, King Charles and Queen Camilla, on the occasion of their coronation on the 6th of May. Tonight is the launch of this fantastic course, and I do hope we've got lots and lots of people watching, either live or later on, and I hope you're all going to take part in this superb project. There is no cost to be involved in any of this. This is something that we are doing because we think it is such an important occasion. We feel compelled and moved and inspired to record this amazing work. Now, if there's anyone watching at the moment who is new to Choir of the Earth, who've come along perhaps through the social media links that have been shared, perhaps uh, due to the uh, the tweets that have been sent out today, any other publicity, maybe you heard our founder, Mark, on BBC Radio Leicester. You are all immensely welcome, whether you're watching this live or later on. I do hope you enjoy the experience. Now, uh, my name is Ben. I'm the musical director of this magnificent choir, this Choir of the Earth, uh, which quite recently was placed in the top five choirs nationally here in Britain. And of course, we have members from all over the world. We've been singing together for nearly three years. And frankly, Messiah is a, a piece that we know and love well, very much dear to our hearts, but tonight is a very special performance. I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, just allow me a moment, everyone, just to, to do the one important sound check. So just want to check that everything's working here. No one is shouting no sound at me, which is always a good start. Let's check we can hear recording. Marvellous. I also want to check we can hear this one as well, because this is the special tune version. And if I press this button here... With any luck, you should be able to see the score on screen. Wonderful. So this is the score for today. This special new tune version, which has been created specifically for this project. No one has ever sung Hallelujah quite like this. This is the just the tune version for anyone out there who perhaps is not an experienced choral singer but wants to be part of this fantastic project. Uh, so we're going to teach this one today and I hope everyone watching is going to record and send in a version of this just the tune project. So... Who is here? We've got loads of lovely people, nearly 100 people online at the moment, which is great, and many more joining us. And quite a few people who I remember from way back who've come back to join us, and a few new faces as well. So for those people who are chatting away in the comments, I shall say hello to you in just a minute. If you're watching this later on, uh, perhaps you're watching live but haven't yet popped up in the live chat, well, hello to all of you, and do hope you enjoy singing with us tonight. Uh, tonight's music will fit to be honest, pretty much every voice, it's been arranged at a what you might call a congregational sort of pitch so that it is accessible, whether you're a bass, a tenor, an alto or soprano, there is something tonight for everyone. Uh, so let me welcome everyone who's chatting away in the live chat at the moment. Hello, Amy. Hello, Alexandra. Hello, Alison. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Amsanf. Hello, Annalisa. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Bev. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Brian. Hello, Bridget. Hello, Carol. Hello, Carol. Hello, Mark. Hello, Christine. Hello, Colette. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Ellen. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Jill. Hello, Gillian. Hello, Heather. Hello, Heidi. Hello, Hilary. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jill. Hello, Judith. Hello, Karen. Hello, Kareth. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Catri. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Liz. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello, Maureen. Hello, Mike. Hello, Natanya. Hello, Nicola. Wonderful to see you all. Hello, Katie, who's just popped up in my chat here. Hello, Nicola. Uh, hello, Liz. Hello, Nora. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Paul. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Stefan. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Ulla. Hello, Valerie. Hello, Vanessa. Uh, hello to Violet. Hello, Wendy. And I'll just check the list if I've missed anyone off. Uh, I'm so sorry. This is what uh, what YouTube gives me. And there's Robert and Jean. Hello, Lindsay. Hello, Denise. Good evening to you. Hello, Nikki. Uh, takes you back to the 80s and sing the Goldsmiths Choral Union. Fantastic. I well, hope you enjoy this. And there's Gillian as well. Hello, Gillian. And to Pam on Morecambe Bay. Hello, Pam. Hello, Suzanne. Oh, it's so wonderful to see everyone here. Hello, Emsie. Good evening to you. Hello, indeed. Uh, Carol is heading off to Face to Face Choir. Well, do enjoy that and do come back 
and uh, and do enjoy singing this with everyone. Hello, Penny, who is singing the full Messiah in two weeks. Looking forward to this, or so are we, Penny. And great to have you with us. And to anyone else, if you're joining us for the first time tonight, if you're new to this Choir of the Earth business, well, do consider popping up in the live chat. Or if you're watching later on, do consider giving us a thumbs up and leaving us a comment underneath the video. Everyone is very, very welcome to subscribe to the channel. There's no charge to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you'll find all sorts of uh, exciting recordings and videos here for you to enjoy. And whenever we launch a new course, for example, shortly in a few weeks' time, we'll be launching our new Vivaldi course, and then a course of uh, cheery summer music, and then the Monteverdi Vespers. The first session of all of our courses are always free, so if you subscribe, you'll get a notification whenever we go live. Uh, hello to Ron. Good evening. Hello, Sue. Uh, lovely to see all of you. Some new people, some new faces and familiar faces. You're all so very welcome. Hello, Christina. Hello, Carol in Cyprus. Great to see you all. Do enjoy tonight. Oh, fabulous. So we'll be starting in just a couple of minutes, everyone. Hello again, Kat. Uh, hello to Sue from North of 60. Excellent to see you. Uh, Liz is saying hello to Jill. Hello, Jill. Hello again, Glenis. <laughs> Lots of people have been singing with me multiple times today online. So if you're one of those people, well, thank you for coming back. Thank you for singing with me. That will be two or three times for some people today. Uh, well, can't have enough of a good thing. <laughs> Hello, all of you. Oh, splendid. Lots of lovely chat. Well, for those of you who are new to this, what will happen is in a couple of minutes, uh, I will start the broadcast. This live chat will disappear, but of course it will be available to those of you watching live and you can pop up and say hello to members of the choir. They're a very friendly bunch and uh, everyone here tonight is looking forward to learning the tune for the Messiah uh, Hallelujah Chorus, which Again, the score will be on screen, or if you prefer, I've put a link in the description of today's video. If you open up, you click below here, where it says show more, it'll all unfold, it'll give you the background to the project. There is a score link in there, and there is also the link for the sub um, submission at the end, um, because for those of you that wish to, you can record along with tonight's programme. Uh, or if you'd rather come back later on, you can record later at a time that suits you. Uh, but the submission link is both on the website and in the description for today's video. But I shall explain more in a couple of minutes. Hello to Alina. Hello, Pascal. Hello, Marion. Hello, everyone. What a great turnout. Hello, Carla. Oh, it's so lovely to see so many familiar faces and so many new people joining us. You are also very welcome. Hello to Cory. Good evening to you. I do hope you enjoy this. Oh, there's nothing like the Hallelujah Chorus. Really, it's so splendid. Ah, oh, wonderful. And as, as always, one of the things I love is seeing people chatting away in the live chat and meeting each other. This, you know, No matter whereabouts in the world you are, you are all very, very welcome in Choir of the Earth. It's such a great choral family. So we're going to get started in just a moment, everyone. Uh, the live chat's going to disappear off the screen, but if you are watching live, you can keep... Uh, keep chatting away and meeting new friends. Um, if you are going to record along with tonight's session live, you will need headphones and a device to record with and a device to listen to me on. Uh, of course, you are all very welcome to record along with this at any time you like. Once we finish streaming, it'll be here for you to access and record along with. But I think we should get started. So if you're going to sing along with this, well, the score will be on screen through most of it. And of course, you can print off the score from the PDF link in the description, or if you'd rather, you can follow along with a uh, an iPad or something like that. But tonight is a brand new tune, effectively. So you won't need your traditional Messiah scores. You'll need the link, which is in the description. I would also suggest to anyone who's joining us uh, who's not familiar with Choir of the Earth, make sure you've got a drink of water to uh, keep hydrated, because uh, after an hour of singing, you will definitely feel the need to have uh, stayed hydrated. So if we can start, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much indeed to those of you who are here in the live chat. Do enjoy. And we're going to go full screen. Here we go. So a very, very good evening, everyone. And you're so very welcome to the launch of our very special Coronation Project. We are Choir of the Earth, and we are going to be recording the Hallelujah Chorus by George Frederick Handel. 
This is one of the best loved and best known pieces in the choral repertoire. It comes from his immortal piece, The Messiah, which was composed in 1741 and has since become, well, a mainstay of the choral repertoire. My name is Ben England. I am the musical director of Choir of the Earth. And uh, Choir of the Earth has been around for nearly three years. In fact, it'll be three years next week. We launched during the COVID lockdown. And the first thing we did as a choir is in the first two months, we put together a performance of Handel's Messiah, a complete performance with not a single person meeting. Uh, when we premiered that performance, it was seen all around the world. And since then, we have performed hundreds of hours of music together, everything from medieval music right up to pop songs, musicals, all sorts. And uh, everyone watching at the moment, I do hope you enjoy this particular project, as I say, Learning Handel's Messiah. Now, if I can just show you on screen, everyone, what we're going to be using tonight. We've got the score here on screen. Now, if you don't read music or if you perhaps are still learning to read music don't worry I'm going to take you through it uh, we're going to learn it line by line and I will indicate uh, with my hands as we go through how the notes are moving and uh, if you prefer you can of course follow along using the pdf that is in the description uh, and those of you that wish to record as I say you have an opportunity for tonight now what I'll do I'll get rid of that. Let's uh, do a bit of a vocal warm-up. And again, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the way choirs work, it's always good to make sure that our voices are warm and ready to sing, particularly if it's loud uh, and exciting music, because the last thing we want to do is to hurt anyone's voice. So for those of you who are joining us tonight live, please do stand up if you can. And if standing up is not on the menu, well, you are very welcome to stay seated. But if I could invite those of you who are seated to take your back away from the back of the chair. OK, if you're leaning back in the chair or perhaps slumped or lying on your back, you're not going to have the, uh, the, the support you need for your voice. And you could end up straining your voice, which is not something we want to do. So either standing or sitting up in your chair is ideal if you don't mind. And if everyone can please plant their feet flat on the floor. Thank you very much indeed. Those of you standing, plant with your shoulders, a, uh, your sorry, your feet a shoulders width apart, so you're not standing with your feet together. And if you could maybe make your knees soft as well, that would really help. Because sometimes when you sing, you feel the music pushing you around, and that will give you the firmest foundation on which to build your singing. And everyone, I'm going to ask you now, just as we are here together with over 200 people uh, watching live and many more watching later, we're going to take some nice deep breaths in. And out, just in our own time. Deep breaths, just in and out. Just in your own time, in your own way. <sighs> Lovely. And breathe in a nice, relaxing atmosphere. And breathe out anything you don't need to think about for the next hour or so. <sighs> Lovely. And another nice deep breath. And blow the air away from you. Wonderful. And again, take a deep breath in. And we're going to sigh and relax our shoulders. Here we go. <sighs> Lovely. And again, breathe in nice and deeply. Bring your shoulders up as you do. And breathe out and relax your shoulders. <sighs> Splendid. And continue, if you would, everyone, to take nice, deep, relaxing breaths in and out in your own time. And just roll your shoulders around and roll your head around please just stretching these neck muscles out please everyone fabulous if you hear all sorts of clicks and pops that's my neck clicking if you find the same things happening to you just be gentle with yourselves this is all about stretching these neck muscles out so we feel nice and relaxed and ready to start making some sound and we're just going to roll our shoulders around everybody splendid i'm going to roll our shoulders forwards don't do this too briskly or too vigorously. This is about stretching rather than straining your muscles. And then bring your shoulders up to your ears, please, everyone. Take a deep breath. And as you breathe out, sigh and let those shoulders fall. Here we go. <sighs> Splendid. Thank you so much, everyone. Now we're going to start by just gently humming some notes. And we're going to work up tonight so that we can sing a D. And a D is going to be somewhere around here but we're going to start the octave lower than that and uh, just bear in mind those of you if you might be following along later on 
Uh, if you're trying to play along with this, just bear in mind that everything is a semitone lower, a half step lower than written for reasons that I shall explain in a moment. So we're just going to hum this note here. You might want to hum here or here, depending on where your voice lies, uh, lies naturally. So let's just hum together and breathe whenever you like. Here we go. And again, deep breath. And... Let's go up a semitone. Deep breath. open our mouth but keep our teeth together we're going to sing a N for November deep breath and and up a semitone lovely now we're going to make an ooh sound with our lips pushed forward like we're blowing out a candle at arm's length deep breath and And we're going to sing an E for egg. Deep breath and. Now we're going to open our mouths as tall as we can. Notice I'm not saying Y because I don't want this shape. I want this shape. I'm going to sing an R with a nice tall mouth. Nice deep breath with me. Here we go. And. more very simple little exercises and the first one we're going to sing is we're going to sing so it's a drop jaw and it's this shape with me and and again indeed everybody so let's get on with the session tonight so what's going to happen is I'm going to give a very short little introduction to the piece and then I'm going to show the score up on screen now I'm aware that there will be people watching at the moment uh, who don't read music or are still learning to read music don't worry as we go I will teach it line by line and I'll show with my hand the way that the notes are moving and of course, the more you listen to it, the more you get used to it. You're also going to have the wonderful guide tracks, which we've created just for this, uh, with the wonderful Lucy and Josh from the group we call the Fieri Consort, our dear, dear friends who uh, support us uh, with these wonderful guide tracks. They are an amazing choir. Do look them up, the Fieri Consort, F-I-E-R-I. -E uh, they are a group of young musicians based in and around London, and they do all our guide tracks for us. Um, so once we're looking at that score, we're going to have a little listen to it, follow it all the way through, and then I'm going to teach it. Once I've taught it, we will then have a recording session. Now, you might be watching tonight thinking, I'm not ready to record, or I won't be ready to record. That's absolutely fine. Some people will record tonight. Some people might record tomorrow, some next week, some the week after. That's absolutely fine whenever you decide to do it. But I'm going to talk to the camera once we've taught it as if you're all recording along so that when you do watch it, it makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Now, what we'll do, everyone, is once you've sent all those parts in, it will be combined into a glorious unified performance with all of the parts, including tonight, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, and we're going to create an, a massive hallelujah, which we will send to their majesties for the coronation. Now, I'm going to bring the score up on screen. Here it is. 
and it's been arranged for us by our dear friend and colleague Richard Gowers, who is a fantastic organist. He's the organist of uh, Hanover Square Church in London, and he has produced this, uh, what you might call a congregational part for unison voices. So this is designed for no matter whether your voice is high or low, this is designed for all of you. Um, so let's have a little listen to it. I'm going to take it through from the beginning and just follow the parts. What I'll do is I will call out bar numbers. And again, for those of you who don't re yet read music, as you can see here on screen, we've got these blocks of space. At the beginning, you've got three bars. You can see the horizontal lines. These, This is the frame we put the notes on. And the vertical lines are what we call bar lines. And they indicate where the bars are separated. So we've got three bars at the beginning. So it's three lots of four. And then we come in hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And you can see at the end of each line, at the far end on the left here, you've got numbers so I can call out as we go. So I think what we should do, enough wittering from me, let's turn over to our wonderful singers, to Lucy and Josh, who are going to sing you the part we're going to learn in just a minute. And if you've never sung the Hallelujah Chorus before, I'm so honoured that you're going to sing it with us. Let's go. Here we go. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, and... Hallelujah, 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 So we've got some bars of rest. Two, three, and then we sing. Bar 35. One, two.
that, ladies and gentlemen, is the piece. Now, for those of you that have never sung it before, uh, what you'll, I hope, have noticed is that although, yes, it's, it's a, a challenge, we're going to have to work hard on it, um, but a lot of the material is reused. A lot of these ideas come back, and uh, the way that Richard has arranged Handel's original is so that we don't go uh, any higher than that. So those of you who have got lower voices, hopefully you're not going to find it too much of a struggle to get up to the higher notes. Uh, it's a really, really great arrangement. And in a minute, after we've had a chance to learn it and record it, I'll play what it sounds like with the other parts mixed in, because we are, of course, also going to be teaching tomorrow and on Thursday the soprano, alto and tenor and bass parts. So it's going to be a completely unique sounding coronation. Hallelujah. So I think what we should do, everyone, is to get started uh, with the actual teaching. As I say, this piece was written in 1741 as part of Handel's Oratorio the Messiah, which was first premiered in Dublin. And uh, then from there went on to become, I think, the most beloved and uh, and famous choral work in history. Now, I'm going to bring the score back on screen. And as I said at the beginning, you've got a count of 12. So let me just illustrate that for you. It sounds like this. You get, what? hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so three lots of four, 12 beats, and then we come in with this hallelujah. Now, I think it's fair to say most of us watching at the moment are familiar at least with the first couple of bars of this. And the tune is hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Okay, so have a listen to that. I'm going to play the pitches. So let's have a go at singing that. Before we do, can I just invite those of you uh, who are perhaps coming to us for the first time to remember when we're singing a word like hallelujah, uh, it's quite a loud sound. We need to go for it a little bit, I think, in terms of the, uh, the effort we put into it. And as a result, you will need to open your mouth nice and tall to let all that sound out. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So drop your jaw when you sing it. Let's give it a go, shall we, please, everyone? Whichever octave suits you. You can even have some basses down there if you're finding this tenor pitch a little bit on the high side. Are we ready after four? From the top. One, two, three, four. Hallelujah. 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 Lovely stuff. Well done. Well done. Now, Carrying on, we actually drop down to a lower pitch here. We drop down to this note here, which is called an A, and we sing Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. So I've listened to those pitches again. This is going from bar eight, two, three, four. One thing before we sing it, just be really careful that the, the hallelujahs uh, have the right emphasis. The first ones are hallelujah, hallelujah. So we're leaning on the first note of the uh, of the word. But then Handel, being very, very clever, changes the emphasis. So we aim to the hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So it's a different emphasis each time. Just make sure you're leaning on it in the right place. Let's sing together from bar eight. Okay, with me. One, two, three, four. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Great. Well done, everyone. Let's sing from the beginning to there, shall we? So here's your introduction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Breathe and a hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, the first uh, big change is the fact that everyone goes from singing these chords, as we'll hear shortly, to... It's got a 
nice little mountain shape here. We climb the mountain, briefly pop down to the bottom, then up again. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Okay, listen to that tune again. I'll do it slowly. Three, four. And the words, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. If you can roll your R's on reigneth, that'd be great. And if you can't, that's not a problem. Let's sing that together. For the Lord God. This is bar 12, everyone. Ready? Three, four. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Excellent. Don't hang around too long at the end of reigneth. Get rid of it because you've got some hallelujahs to sing in a minute. But that is a big, big moment. So when you sing it, can you sing it in a really grand way? Let's sing that together again from bar 12 for the Lord God. I'm going to allow myself a little bit of acoustic. Here we go. One, two, three, four. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Excellent. Lean on the rain and less on the F. Reigneth. Fantastic. Now we become like trumpets and we sing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Make sure we're aiming for the note on hallelujah and less on the uh. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Four of those. Let's sing that together, shall we? After four, two, three, four. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Excellent. Keep in mind, as I say, you're supposed to be brass instruments, trumpets, so make it nice and brassy. Now we sing the tune uh, that we sang a moment ago again, but lower. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Listen to that again. Now, before we sing it, bearing in mind that this is a tune we've just learnt, the fact it drops down here might be too much of a challenge for some of us with higher voices, in which case, just sing. For the Lord God omnipotent. Just stay on the same pitch. Don't worry about the drop down the octave. Stay there. Those of you that can, altos, basses, low voice singers, please do drop down though. Okay, let's sing that together. For the Lord God, this is bar 17. It's just here on the fourth line of the score. Two, three, four. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Fabulous. And still, that, that gravitas, and the fact that it's so low, relatively speaking, in our voices, means I want you to, if possible, tuck your chin in a little bit as you sing. Those of you who wear glasses, you know when you tuck your chin in and you speak over like that and you sound like a, a slightly stern schoolmaster or schoolmistress, I want that sort of sound. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Okay, just like that. And then we've got some more hallelujahs, but if you've noticed, and particularly those of you who are still learning to read music, just have a list, look at the difference between the first lot of hallelujahs uh, on the same note we sang, starting here at the, uh, the end of the third line, beginning of the fourth. You can see that's all the same, all on the same, all in that same space. If we look at the bottom line, it goes... So it's, it's going up by one step and then down again. Let's sing that slowly from bar 19. Are we ready? Two, three, four. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And again, aiming for the note on Lou. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, so can we sing from the very beginning to here, which is bar 21, 22 or so? So the first big chunk of this wonderful work. Here we are from the very top. Enjoy. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, three, and... Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
for the Lord God omnipotent reign. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Excellent, excellent. Well done, everyone. Now, what follows is uh, we've got uh, two, three bars. Okay, so another count of 12. You can see down here these empty spaces, they still continue. The music continues that we don't sing here. A great little opportunity for us to catch our breath and look ahead. So we can see here starting on the next line, this is bar 24, you can see we rest for a total of 12 beats. And then do you know what? It's this tune which we've sung already twice. This is the third time. <laughs> So that we're familiar with this. Let's sing it. This is bar 25. Are we ready? After four, two, three, four. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Fabulous. And you'll see on the next line, there's another one of those to sing in a minute. But before that, we've got a little bit of a, a, a bit of a leap to deal with. Doesn't that sound like trumpets? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'd like you to sing it like it is a fanfare. So we've just sung Raineth, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Let's slow that down. Let's sing Raineth and Hallelujah. So this is bar 27. Are we ready from Raineth? Two, three, four. Raineth, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Fantastic. Just be really careful when we're going down there. Don't overshoot. We don't want to go what's called flat, where we go under the note, because that will sound messy. So one thing to say at this point, I should have said at the start, of course, this is a very happy piece. So do smile as you sing. Okay, if you if you aren't singing with a smile in this one because you're concentrating so hard, do allow yourself just the slightest glimmer of a smile at the corner of your mouth and let it touch your eyes because that will warm your sound and will help keep it in tune. Let's sing for the Lord God here from bar 25 with that little leapy hallelujah. Are we ready? Two, three, four, four. The Excellent. Well done, everybody. Now let's move on to uh, the next line. So bar 29. And you know what? Here's another for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. It's like these composers deliberately reuse this material, isn't it? Now I know there's a hallelujah after that, but let's just sing that together. And remember, sopranos, tenors, high voice singers, do feel free, if you wish to, to stay on that upper note. Okay, are we ready? After four, two, three, four. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Again, just tucking your chin in to give us that nice low sound. Now you can see here in bar 31, that's not the end of the phrase. You've got to go up the octave and give us a a nice drop jaw hallelujah the only sound that isn't with the drop jaw is the oo where we push it forward and this is bells as opposed to trumpets so sing hallelujah please after three two three hallelujah. fantastic let's go from the beginning of the line with the number 29 from bar 29 for the lord god two three four four As you can see, not much time to breathe. So if you need to breathe after Raineth, make it a quick one and come and join us up at the top of the register. Okay, well done, everyone. Now, before we move on to this next section, which is something a little bit different, I'd like to go back to the beginning and sing it again. Honestly, everyone, repetition is the key to success. Repetition is the key to success. Repetition is the key to... Exactly. So let's go from the top. And uh, let's sing this lovely tune. Remember, three bars and then come in. Do feel free to come in with a big smile and uh, do come in loudly, but not too loudly. So you've got somewhere for it to go. Here we go, everyone. Enjoy from the top. And... Take a deep breath. 
Do have a sip of drink to hydrate yourselves. It's thirsty work, this handle, isn't it? I'm just going to take a quick glance at the live chat to check everyone can still see and hear. Fabulous. Okay. So, sorry about that. Let's, uh, let's look at the next phrase, the kingdom of this world. And this is a rare thing in this particular movement. It's a quiet bit. Okay, so we can sing a little bit softer. And we come down the scale here. <laughs> coming down the stairs. The kingdom of this world. So just watch the little dum da dum at the end, the sort of Superman rhythm. The kingdom, one, two, three. The kingdom of this world. Okay, notice the note on world is long. World. So make sure you take a nice deep breath before you sing it. Sing with me please everyone. The kingdom of this world. This is the last note of bar 33. One, two, three. The kingdom of this world. Excellent. Now in terms of where we put the d at the end, I put that on the first beat of the next bar. So it's world. Okay, fabulous. Now, you then need to grab a breath and count to two. We go one, two, is become. So listen to that again. One, two. Excellent. Now you'll see here on screen, uh, my colleague Richard, who did this arrangement, has put in a little note there in red to just indicate you can take a break after is become because we're going to go right through the next bit without taking a break if possible. So let's sing from the kingdom of this world. Bar 33 again. One, two, three. The kingdom of this world. One, two, is become. Excellent. Now those bars there, the kingdom of this world is become is quieter than the rest of it. So if you can just write in uh, something to the effect of quieter, if you are familiar with how we write that in music, you might want to write a P for piano, which means soft. Now, carrying on, the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ and of his Christ. So we're going to sing the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, breath and of his Christ. Have a listen to this. <laughs> end of that first we'll look at the and of his Christ which is just here in bar 40. Notice it's a short note on Christ. After two, one, two, and of his Christ. Excellent. Well done. Now let's look at the beginning of that. The kingdom. Just sing that for me. After three, one, two, three, the kingdom of all Excellent. No, notice this is obviously louder. Having been soft, uh, the kingdom of this world is become the kingdom of our Lord. Should be nice and big. We keep singing. So we sing kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. Listen to the whole thing from the kingdom here in bar 37. One, two, three. The kingdom of our Lord. 
So if you can please avoid breathing after Lord, you can see here on screen, Richard has drawn a little line connecting it. You could draw an arrow, whatever you need to do, but try not to breathe after Lord, if you'd be so kind. You can take a breath here in bar 40 after Christ and then hand off his Christ. So let's go back and let's sing up here, the kingdom of this world. This is bar 33. <laughs> And in fact, why don't we treat ourselves to a bit of this lovely backing track? You're going to hear the uh, the For the Lord God Omnipotent Reigneth from uh, the section before. So we're going to go from around about bar 29, I think. Let's see. So we're in in three, two, one. done you have a sip of drink we're doing very very well we've got some um some fun little acrobatics to come now uh we're going to do uh we're going to sing this and he shall reign for ever and ever and this is another one of these little kind of capsules of music that Handel introduces at this point and then sends it around the choir but because we're singing the tune we get to sing it more than everyone else have a listen to this this is bar 41 have a listen here it goes after two one two Okay, I'm going to play that both hands of so the tenors and basses. The low voices can hear it as well. So after twos, it's and he shall reign. One, two. There we go. So let's give this a go. After two, one, two. And he shall reign forever and ever. Okay. Now, we're going to sing that uh, in a moment. Someone's asking in the live chat, can we add dynamics? Of course, if you want to write on your score, you're very welcome to. The only place where, however, the dynamics change is literally the kingdom of this world is become. That's quiet. The rest of it is all loud. So just bear that in mind. Um, so let's sing, and he shall reign. From bar 41, after two with me, a little slower. One, two. And he shall reign forever. Fabulous. And of course, we're aiming for the last notes ever and ever. So just make sure you think of it as a nice journey through those notes rather than stamping on every single one of them. Let's sing it again together, please. After two. One, two. And he shall reign forever and ever. Excellent. No, notice it's a short note at the end of ever. You can see the black note with the tail. That means it's just a single beat. And then we've got these squiggles, which means you don't sing at that point. So you come off at the end of ever. Ever off. Okay. Now, we've got a little bit of, uh, of texture here. As we fill in, we sing one, two, forever and ever. Listen to that again. This is the last two bars, literally just down here. One, two lean on that ever and enjoy it after two please one two forever and ever notice it's got a little space between them you can snatch a little breath to kind of keep you in time one two forever and ever brilliant well done all of you fantastic let's go back let's just sing with the piano the kingdom of this world to the bottom of this page and then we can move on after three one two three the kingdom of this world one two is become the kingdom of our lord and of his christ and of his christ and he shall reign forever and ever and one two forever stuff that is a tricky little bit not just because the parts are so close together but you, you're kind of changing the different styles as you're going through that would take i think if it's new to you do come back do watch this teaching sing it a few times before you have a go at recording just so you're feeling strong and confident and ready to take it on okay so let's look at the next line now we've got up the end of i go back actually 
you can see here at the bottom here, one ever. We've then got two beats of silence in that bar and an extra beat at the top here in bar 46. So it's ever, three, four, one. We then come in and we sing this tune, which you've already just learned. Okay, and he shall reign forever and ever. Let's sing here bar 46 after one, three, four, one. And he shall reign forever and ever. Good, again, keep that ever short at the end. Now we're coming to the end of this section, about to go into the King of Kings and Lord of Lords bit, which means we are approaching the last section of this marvellous piece. Uh, and just to wrap it up, there's this little sort of uh, nice little moment as we sing one. And he shall reign forever and ever. Okay, lots and lots of that note with a couple little either side. Listen to it again. This is bar 49 and one. And he shall slowly sing along with me three four one and he shall reign forever and ever the tricky thing there is just to note that note on ever that white note here it's got a a, a, a clear circle with a with a line that's longer than you think reign forever and ever Okay, let's go from the top of this uh, slide here on screen, bar 46, leading us to King of Kings. After one, three, four, one. And he shall reign forever and ever. And one. And he shall reign forever and ever. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, I'm not going to take it back and play it through yet, because this next bit is great fun and really quite straightforward because we sing King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You can see it's written in capital letters. That should give you an idea of just how important this bit is. Yes, it is just holding one note, but we are the anchor point by which other parts move around and create this wonderful sound, this texture, this harmony. So having sung ever, we then go straight on. If you need to grab a breath, grab a breath. Uh, but make sure you come in shortly afterwards and we sing King of Kings. Okay, now that's a long, long note. So as I say, if you need to grab a breath, do so, but don't take too long about it because you need to come straight in. It's King of Kings. Now, how long do we hold that, that long note on Kings? It's a total of eight beats, two lots of four. And uh, what I'll also ask you to do is to just slightly get louder throughout it. Not a lot, but just so it doesn't just sit there uh, l like a busted kitchen appliance. So let's sing King of Kings, please, in bar 51, after two, one, two. King of Kings. Putting this on that first beat of the next bar. Grab another breath, and this time, and Lord of Lords. Lords is even longer. It was eight beats for kings, it's ten beats for lords. So we sing one. And Lord of Lords. Okay, it is a big sing. It is a big, big, long note, so just make sure you take as big a breath as you can before you come in with and Lord of Lords. Let's do it together, please, everyone. And Lord of Lords, this is bar 54, but with all caps. Nice deep breath. Three, four, one. And Lord of Lords. Fantastic. Well done. Now we're going to take it back a little bit. And we're going to sing through the kingdom of this world is become. Let me find it first. Bear with me a second. Whilst I'm doing this, everyone, can you just have a quick sip of drink? Just bear with me. That's it, exactly. Okay, so we're going to pick it up at the kingdom of this world, which you can see just here. Uh, it is bar 33 in the last note. This is the only bit that's quiet. Everything else is loud. Are we ready? Nice deep breath. Here we go. And... The kingdom of this world Two, three, four, one, two. Is become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ and of his Christ and he 
shall reign forever and ever. Forever and ever. Three, four, one. And he shall reign forever and ever. And he shall reign forever and ever. King of kings. And Lord of Lords. There we go. Forever oh, and giving a little preview of what's coming up. So we can see here, after that long Lord of Lords, you'll need a break. Well, Handel, in this case, Richard Gowers, is going to give you nearly four beats. It's not really long enough to have a big break, but certainly enough to take a nice deep breath for the next section. Lots and lots of forever and ever and hallelujah, hallelujah, which, of course, builds to the amazing climax of this great piece. So let's pick it up from bar 58. You'll hear the rest of the choir sing, King of Kings. We sort of bounce off that rhythm, everyone, and we sing, Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sounds familiar? We sang that same pattern on that first slide uh, not too long ago. So forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're leaning on that, uh, on that important note. Forever and ever, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that will give it lots of nice rhythmic shape. Sing with me, please, everyone, from bar 58. After two, one, two, forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Excellent. Now, because this is building and building, well, we sing in the next bar, we sing forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's the same thing, just up one note. So let's sing that together. This is bar 61. It's just here. After two, ready, one, two. Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Excellent. Now it's still building, still building in intensity, getting really, really exciting now. Bar 64, we sing forever. Excuse me, it's one, two. Forever, forever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, so it's the same thing, just up again. Listen to it on its own after two. One, two. Can we sing that together, please? Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. After two, this is bar 64. One, two. Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Fab. Let's go back, please, everyone, to bar 58 here on this line. And just glancing at the comments, people are asking, you know, what's going on? Are we not recording the uh, the traditional, original parts? We are. We'll be learning soprano and alto tomorrow morning. And we're going to learn the tenor and bass tomorrow, uh, on Thursday, rather, I should say. Uh, and you can find the details of that through the Coronation webpage, choiroftheearth.com slash coronation. All the details you need are there. But this is a special Just the Tune part, which no one else in the world is singing. Just us. All of us together. So let's sing, shall we, everyone? Let's go back to King of Kings and Lord of Lords here in bar 51. There's your note. After two, one, two. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Three, four, one, two, forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Great. Now, do you know what? What I think we'll do, let's take it back. Let's sing along with the wonderful, wonderful Fieri Consort. Bear with me a moment. Forever. That's then. Okay, so let's sing. Let's go back to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So, there we are. So, King of Kings here, bar 51. Sing with me and with Hannah and Josh. Here we go. Ready? Three, four. King of Kings. One. And Lord of Lords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, off. And forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. One, two. Forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ready? One, two. Forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And the last bit we sing is 
King of kings and Lord of lords. That wraps that little section up. Listen to it again. This is bar 67. One, two. King of kings and Lord of lords. With me, please don't forget the smile. One, two. King of kings and Lord of lords. Excellent. Well done. Now, we've got a couple of bars rest. Let's have a quick sip of drink. How's everyone doing? I think we've got another five minutes of teaching or so. Then we will sing it all the way through and then we'll talk about how we're going to record it. So, uh, as I say, we've just sung Lord of Lords. We've then got uh, a total of uh, nine beats to count. We'll do that together before we sing this... familiar tune from earlier in the movement with the exception of the last note holds for four beats it sounds like this and he shall reign this is the last note of bar 71 just here one two three and he shall reign forever and ever okay it's not quite the same is it because it's got the da, 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 which we didn't have earlier on Let's sing it together slowly, okay? This is kind of like the version we did earlier, but this is the special edition. One, two, three. And he shall reign forever and ever. Great. It's basically three blind mice. But just with a little hop in the middle. Ever. Excellent. Now, once we've sung that, you'll hear the... Uh, the choir singing, King of Kings, we sing forever and ever. Can you sing that for me, everyone? After two, it's the last two bars here on screen. One, two, forever and ever. Over onto the next line, you hear the choir sing, and Lord of Lords, we sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you sing that for me, please, everyone here, top of the screen, bar 77. One, two, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, here we are in bar 78. So, familiar with the familiar ending. And he shall reign forever and ever. Notice this one doesn't have the three blind mice. No, it's just ever and ever. So, would you sing, and he shall reign for me, everyone, please. Bar 78, last note. One two, three. And he shall reign forever and ever. Fantastic. Now this note here, we don't hold on because we're going to grab a breath. We've got to sing King of Kings and Lord of Lords, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now this one goes... trumpet-like here, isn't it? So we're going from the last two notes here of bar 81. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Again, it's in all caps, so make sure you really go for it. After two, one, two. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Excellent. Don't hang around too long on the Lords because you need to get on with the next phrase. And then we sing, And he shall reign forever, forever and ever. Again, it's very, very similar to what's gone on before, but the term for this is development, where a composer takes an idea and changes it so it's not quite what you expect. So listen to this. This is bar 85. So it goes after two. One, two. And he shall reign forever, forever and ever. Listen to it again. Let's sing that together, please, everyone. Bar 85, just here, after two. One, two. And he shall reign forever, forever and ever. Great. And the end is in sight from this epic teaching session, everyone. Uh, we sing, basically, it's the same thing eight times. Uh, in terms of the notes. Okay, with a 
the top of the fanfare. So we sing four forevers and four hallelujahs. Let's sing that together, please, after two. One, two, forever and ever, forever and ever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And what Handel's doing here is, of course, just ramping up the excitement for the very, very ending, which is here. Now I'm going to give the basses an option to sing lower here. If it's too high to go up to that note, you can stay down there, but we sing the very, very last couple of bars. It's two, three. And it's a big, big finish. So what I'd like to do is to sing, let's go from the very top of this page. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and he shall reign forever and ever. Then I'm going to take it all the way through from the start, and then we're going to talk about recording, okay? So from bar 77, hallelujah, hallelujah. Nice deep breath, after two, one, two. Hallelujah, hallelujah, two, three. And he shall reign forever and ever. King of kings and lord of lords, king of kings and lord of lords, Amazing, everyone. Well, look, please do have a sip of drink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it from the very, very start all the way through. And then those of you that are going to record along with this session, uh, I'll be asking you to press record and get ready to uh, to sing along. And for those of you who aren't ready to record, bear in mind, we've only gone it through, gone through it the once. Well, this is all recorded for you to come back and to practice with. You can come back tomorrow or next week and you can press record when I ask you to and sing along with this track here, this uh, stream, and it will all line up. All right. But more details on that in a minute. Let's sing it through from the very, very top. This marvellous arrangement. We're so grateful to Richard for his amazing uh, ar arrangement here. No one else in the world is singing hallelujah like this. Just us. So... Roll your shoulders around a little bit. Get ready to sing hallelujah. Have fun, everyone. Here we go. Deep breath and... Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three. Breathe. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah. One, two, three. The kingdom of this world is become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. And of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Forever and ever. Three, four, one. And he shall reign forever and ever. And he shall reign forever and ever. King of kings. Lord of Lords. For 
forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Deep breath. And forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And King of kings and Lord of lords. Take a nice deep breath. One, two, three. And he shall reign forever and ever. And forever and ever. Deep breath. And hallelujah, hallelujah. And he shall reign forever. King of kings and Lord of lords, King of kings and Lord of lords, and he shall reign forever, forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. done now if i could just invite you to take a quick moment just roll your head around roll those shoulders around it's a big sing as the hallelujah chorus it's a lot to ask and what we're going to do now is we're going to capture the recording part of the stream. So those of you who are ready to record tonight, you've been singing along live and you're ready to record right now. Well, if you could make sure you've got your recording devices ready, we will start that process in a minute. Those of you watching, planning to record later, do please sing along with this now. But remember that this is here on the video. We will timestamp this video. So when you come back later on, you can open it up and jump straight to the start of the recording. Recording, you will need headphones, you will need a device to record on, something like a phone or a tablet is perfect. Uh, ideally you'll record in a quiet space so we don't get the sounds of traffic if possible, dogs, uh, friends, spouses, whoever you've got around, try and record in a quiet space, ideally with a deadened sound, uh, so the bathroom's not the best place to do it. Uh, one of our sound engineers is fond of saying, if in doubt, record in the wardrobe, though I'm not entirely sure I subscribe to that. Um, now, what will happen is in a moment, I will speak to everyone, whether you're recording now or whether you're watching this later on, and I will say, start your recording device. Once you've done that, just put it down. Don't think about it. Sing with me. And at the end, I'll ask you to stop the recording device and send us the entire file. And remember, we'll be teaching the soprano and alto parts for this tomorrow and the tenor and bass parts on Thursday. So you can sing as many parts as you wish. So everyone, those of you who are going to record along tonight... If I could ask you to start your recording device now, please. Just going to wait while everyone does that. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. And what we're going to do, everyone, in order to help our brilliant sound engineers, who are the best in the world at combining voices recorded on phones, what we're going to do is we're going to clap together. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to clap on the one, as it were, for the next beat, and we're all going to clap together. So if we're ready, just get everything out of your hands. Okay, so we're going to clap one, two, three, four, and then we're going to clap. Ready? One, two, three, four. Splendid. Thank you so much, everyone. So what we're going to do, we're going to sing it all the way through. I'm going to put the score back on screen. I'm going to do what I was doing before, indicate with my hands and so on. And uh, after we've sung it, we're going to press stop. And those of you who've recorded tonight, you can drop it in to the Dropbox. So, from the very top, everyone, do enjoy the wonderful singer of the Fieri Consort and our incredible rock orchestra. Here is, for the first time ever, the Hallelujah Chorus unison version. Enjoy. Deep breath and Hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, 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 for the Lord 
so much everyone whether you were singing along or whether you were recording that time well done thank you so much now if you have recorded along with that particular take can i ask you to press stop on your recording device now thank you very much indeed now we'll ask you to put that file the complete file no edits needed no cuts my advice is don't even listen back to it just send it in uh, if you're worried about mistakes, slips, do not worry about it, please, everyone. Our engineers are the best in the world at what they do. And uh, I'd much rather people sang, enjoyed their singing, rather than stressing about getting every single note right. And so if there were any slips, please don't give it a moment's thought. We're going to make sure that all ends up in the final mix. And Connor, our wonderful engineer, will make sure any little slips, any wrong notes, will be subtly airbrushed out. Uh, so if you would please submit that uh, that recording to our Dropbox, you'll find the link both on the website, that's choiroftheearth.com slash coronation, or if you open up the description to today's video, you will find the Dropbox link in there as well. Um, as I say, the entire file please, no edits, no cuts, just send that to us. So well done everyone, particularly can I thank anyone who's joined us who's not regularly in Choir of the Earth, maybe we haven't seen you for a while, maybe this is your first time here, I hope you enjoy the experience and do check in with us we do have more rehearsals this week tomorrow at 10 and 11 a.m we have soprano and altos and then again on thursday we've got the tenors and basses to fill out the texture we're going to leave it open to you for a few weeks to send in your recordings and then we will mix them all together in time for the coronation and make sure 
you uh, keep track of what we're doing so that you can come along and hear it when it launches. It's an audio project, so we don't need video. Thank you very much indeed. Literally just audio, and we will combine it all for their majesties to enjoy in May. So everyone, thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, can I thank the Fieri Consort, that wonderful group that we work with to produce all of the recordings. Can I thank Richard Gowers for his brilliant arrangement, which is so accessible, and I hope you've enjoyed singing it tonight. And uh, thank all of you for being here. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, team. So I'll see you tomorrow, those of you that are joining me for the soprano and alto rehearsal. Oh, one more thing. Uh, do feel free to come along and record as many parts as you like. There's no restriction. Don't think just because you're singing tune that you're not allowed to sing soprano or bass, whichever you prefer. Absolutely fine. We'd love to see you at any and all of our rehearsals. And if you've enjoyed the experience, do look us up. Uh, and consider signing up with looking at things like Carmina Varana at the moment, about to start the Vivaldi Dixit Dominus, and things like the Monteverdi Vespers later in the year, and little pieces like Bohemian Rhapsody in the summer. So lots of fun here on Choir of the Earth. But I shall let you go tonight, everyone, and see those of you joining me tomorrow. A very good evening, everyone, and thanks again for being here. Take care. Bye-bye.